An electric dipole consists of two charges of equal magnitude and opposite sign separated by a distance 2a as shown on the next slide. The dipole is along the x-axis and is centered at the origin. If the electric potential is taken to be zero at infinity, calculate the electric potential at any point y on the y-axis, calculate the electric potential at any point x on the x-axis in between the two charges, and if one charge Q is 4 microcoulombs and A is 2 centimeters, how much work is required to bring a third point charge of minus 4 microcoulombs from infinity to the point at 1 centimeters on the x-axis? For part B, we have to calculate the electric potential at any point x on the x-axis, on the positive x-axis, in between the two charges. Well, we could now focus our attention to the positive x-axis. We have the positive charge at minus a and the negative charge at plus a. We want to find the potential at some point on the x-axis in between the two charges. So that I'll just arbitrarily represent that point right there. And let's say that this point is a distance of x. Let's label this position x1 corresponding to point 1. Therefore, the total electric potential at point 1 is the sum of the electric potentials at point 1 due to each individual charge. This will be the sum of the electric potential at point 1 due to the positive Q charge and the electric potential at point 1 due to the negative Q charge. This means that the total electric potential at point 1 on the x-axis is equal to kq over r1 minus kq over r2, where r1 is the distance from the positive charge to our point 1. And we could see from this picture that that distance is going to be a distance of x plus a. Let's label that. r1 is equal to x1 plus a. r2 is the distance from our second charge, the negative charge to the point on our x-axis. That's this right here. And that difference is going to be equal to a minus x1. Let's write that r2 is equal to a minus x1. Therefore, the total electric potential at point x1 on the x-axis is equal to kq over r1, which is x1 plus a, minus kq over r2, which is a minus x1. Let's factor out the constant k and q from both expressions. So this is 1 over x1 plus a. Now let's also factor out a minus sign from the denominator of the second term. This means that the total electric potential at point x1 on the x-axis is equal to k q 1 over x1 plus a 
plus 1 over x1 minus a, where I'm recognizing that a negative times a negative is a positive. Getting the common denominator of the two terms means I could write this as x1 minus a plus x1 plus a all over the distance or the difference between two squares, which is x1 squared minus a squared. The a's cancel out. And we now have an expression for the position x1 on the x-axis as being equal to 2kqx1 over x1 squared minus a squared. And since this can be any point on the x-axis between the y-axis and the negative charge, we could just replace the x1 with x. And I'll put the interval in which this is defined from 0 to a. Now we have the expression for the electric field at a point on the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals a.